This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. One of the data types we saw in the data type options was the lookup wizard. So this is the ability to add a drop down list of choices to that particular data. Let's use the address book underscore lookup wizard and take our TBL contacts and open it up in design view. So let's right click design view. What you will notice is there is a new field in here called marital status. Just gonna set its caption to marital status with a space in. And what we'd like to do is set the value for this. It is a text field, so we can type in what we like, but I'd like to restrict people to choosing one of a list of options of marital status. And we can do that by using the lookup wizard. So in the drop down list of options, we'll see there is a lookup wizard. I choose that. It then gives me the lookup wizard wizard. The wizard is going to create the lookup field, which displays a list of values you can choose from. How do you want your lookup field to get its values? So where is it going to get this data from? From another table or query? Well, database currently has no other tables or queries, so I'm going to have to type them in. So the dot moves into, I will type in the values that I want. Next, now you type in the values. You can actually have more than one column, but only one of them will be displayed and used as the value. So more than one column is a little bit of a waste. And the marital status is our married, single, divorced, separated, living together, or that. Those are going to be the choices I'm going to give effectively myself when data entering bodies into the address book. Next, what label would you like for your lookup field? And you'll find it's just put the field name in there. That's fine. Do you want to limit this to the list? Yes, I do. And do you want to store multiple values for this lookup? So do you want to store multiple values for this lookup? In this case, that's not appropriate, but for some fields it might be in that you would let them pick more than one item from the list. So they could put single and married and they'd both be stored. But in this case, that's totally not appropriate. So we're not going to put the tick in there, but we are going to put the tick in limit to list. Then finish. Now, as far as things look, nothing's changed. It's still a text field. All the values are still the same here down in the field properties. However, there is a little tab called lookup that if you now click, shows you the lookup values that have been placed in here. So the display control is a combo box. This is a combo box, a drop down arrow. You could change that to a list box or a plain text box, but a combo box is best for multiple values. Row source is where is it going to get its values from? Well, it's going to get them from a list. What is the value of that list? It's these items here. So you can see that they're actually listed with speech marks around them and a semicolon between each value. So you could add more if you felt like editing them. So rather than run the wizard again, you just come down to look up and edit the values in here. The bound column is the first column and there is only one column, hence the column count one. Do you want headers at the end of your column? The default is no, but you can change it to yes. What's the column width? Well, it's gonna be an inch and we can control that and we'll see that better when we're looking at data entering. How many rows can it show in one go? It's gone to 16, which is the default. Well, there's only three, four, five, six, there's only seven anyway, so let's restrict that to seven. The list width in total is an inch. So each column is an inch wide. Well, there's only one column. Therefore, the list is an inch wide. Limit to list is yes, because we said in the wizard it was yes, but you can change it to no if you want. In which case, when you're data entering, you could actually add in a new value, an eighth value, and then a ninth and a tenth, etc. Here's our allow multiple values. It's no, so you can only pick one of these choices. Allow value list edits. So you could let the person over type and edit one of these choices. Well, that's a no. Then we have the option of a form to edit those values. Well, we don't really need that because we can see them here. Show only row source. So show only values that match the row source. But really only appropriate where we're linking our lookup information from a table in the database. So ours is a value list of these choices that will create in the data entry side of the table. And we'll see that when we do the data entry, a drop down arrow with these as the choices and the only choices because we've said yes limit to list they cannot add any more in 
and they cannot choose more than one because we said no. Allow multiple values is no. This has now made a change to the structure of the table, so we'd need to save. So that's file and save. And we've then saved this lookup against that marital status field.